Good morning, everybody. Talas here. Hope everybody's doing great. Um, I'm here because I want to talk about something aside, a little bit aside from cooking this time. As you know, as I mentioned um, before, I am a licensed marriage and family psychotherapist. And I've been um, seeing clients for over 10 years now. And there is something that I keep seeing happening and, um, you know, different people, clients have uh, brought it up. And so I thought this would be a good um, place here for me to bring up uh, in hopes that this might and hopefully it will help someone. Um, and bear with me here. Um, so the the point is there's a scare of having arguments in general arguments between spouses arguments between parents and children arguments between siblings um there's a scare people are afraid of arguments uh, specifically spouses are afraid of having arguments in front of children now i'm not saying that it is okay um but i'm also saying that it is okay and i will explain what i mean people a lot of times try to um just overlook and forget about fixing situations as long as there are no arguments just to avoid having any arguments they avoid conflicts which um does not solve anything it just adds and it brings more and more and more resentments and then there's an explosion and it's just like opening up the can of worms and that's not okay either so let me explain to you now exactly what i mean in my professional opinion and that's just my opinion it is okay to have arguments it is okay to have arguments in front of your children i'm not saying have a fight and um use bad words or get physical that's never okay not even in like even if there are no kids around um you're allowed to have arguments spouses husbands and wives husbands and husbands wives and wives everybody it's okay partners it's okay to have arguments um it's never okay to be um physical of course in any arguments in front of kids or just alone as long as you are able to manage your um emotions and have a decent argument have uh, an this very decent interaction and just try to explain yourself and try to come up with a solution and communicate in a way that, you know, something good, a good solution can come out of this conflict between you and someone else, then even if it's in front of kids, then it's okay because you know why kids will grow up they will become adults one day and they will be living in the same world that you're living in and they need to know and they need to learn how to resolve issues and how to fix problems and how to be able to resolve an issue with someone else whether that's their friend or a partner or so, and anyone a colleague and so if 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 you don't show 
any arguments in front of them. If you don't, if if it's always, or it, or if it's if it always at least if it looks like everything is always okay, which it's not, it's impossible. But if you try to show in front of your kids that you never have arguments, you never have fights, you never have any issues, then they will never learn to deal with any issues. They will never learn to have um, a good argument in which some good results could come out of whether or not it's, you know, it's to, to their liking, you know. So what I always tell, tell parents and when, when I'm working with couples who have smaller kids is that if you have an argument and it happens to be in front of your kids, because it happens, you know, you can't always control uh, life. It happens, you know, but you can be responsible adults, you know. And so I always tell them that if you happen to have an argument and it happens to be in front of your kids, as long as you don't use hurtful words that again, like I said before, you shouldn't even use hurtful words. Even if there are no kids around, you should have a decent um, argument and that's fine. Then you can even explain to your kids what's going on. In a lot of cases, it's helpful to even get them involved. You know, mommy um, has this opinion about this thing and daddy um, says otherwise, you know, what do you think? You know, get them involved. Like, who do you agree with? And that will teach them problem solving, you know, that will... You're actually not, you're not only solving a conflict between you and your spouse, your partner, um, you're teaching your kids how to be able to problem solve in a conflicting situation. And what better way of, for them to learn it than in their own home, in the comfort of their own home, with the people they actually love and trust, their parents, you know. And when they grow up and when they're in a relationship themselves, then they, hopefully they will know not to be afraid of arguments, but actually make it so that, you know, they get to a situation where they are okay with it, even if it's not to their own liking, even if it's um, against what they wished for so this couple came to me a while ago and you know a very simple argument but it was an argument and it was getting on their last nerves you know they were they were really upset with each other um they were remodeling their backyard and you know one person was saying let's have a pool cover and the other one was saying let's have a gate around the pool and, you know, the husband was saying it would cost more to have a pool cover. The wife was saying it's it's nicer to have a pool cover. Anyways, they were going back and forth. And what they were not happy about was the fact that this conversation had come up in front of their children. And I said, okay, so what? You can ask their opinion, you know. I get it. If it's financial stuff and you know the kids may not understand it so well but even even if it involves financial arguments and the kids may not completely understand it or you may think that they may not completely understand it but in fact they do so what happened was I told them you know let's bring it up with your kids and the kids came and you know, one of them was specifically unhappy about the argument that the parents had. And I'm like, what do you think? You know, this is what your mom is saying. What This is what your dad is saying. One looks better and one, you know, um, costs less. And, you know, I explained to her that 
you know when you're doing construction you know it costs money and we need money to have good lives and be able to survive and so she was listening you know she was listening and she's only six years old but she gets it she definitely got it and and i said you know it's not something that you can decide but this is what your parents are uh, trying to figure out between themselves and this you know this is something that they will figure out and they will figure it out and they came up with a decision and they went with it and at the end of it all my point is that the kid was empowered and happy that she knew what the argument was about you know and that these are people that love each other they just have differences in their opinions and they were going back and forth until they until they figured out what is best for them to do and they did it and it worked out and that was it now if they wanted to make a big deal out of oh my god we had this argument in front of our kids and this and that and lack of communication there would have traumatized and given anxiety more anxiety to the kid than the good decent communication that they had even though it was in front of their child this child was now um a little bit more mature than before and not in a bad way in a good way now she knows a little bit of how to problem solve you have to solve problems and so again as adults we need to be adults and be responsible adults and um learn how to argue okay um but we don't have to not argue just because it may give you know our kids anxiety if you just learn and this is why therapy can help um if you learn how to communicate with your spouse your loved ones or your colleague whoever it is that you're having an issue with if you just learn how to communicate and again there are i mean this this is what I'm saying is true. There are cases where you cannot do it because people are just out of control. And I'm not talking about extreme cases where people just don't have the tools to um, talk in a decent manner. And, uh, you know, th again, I'm not talking about extreme cases. Obviously, you should not. Um, the kids should not encounter traumatic experiences, obviously. Um, but if you have a little common sense, then you get what I'm saying, you know, it's okay to argue in front of kids. It's okay to get them as much as possible, you know, um, it's okay to get them involved even and say, you know, nothing to be scared of when mommy's having this opinion, daddy's having that opinion about this and we're trying to figure it out and we will figure it out and, you know, kids will have opinions and they may give you their opinions and <laughs> sometimes their opinions may actually work for you so it's good as long as it is a decent argument and a conversation and not a forceful and just bad um fight then i just want to my point with all this is that don't be afraid of arguments in front of the kids don't be afraid of having issues because you know what life happens everybody has issues um we're living in a world that is has a lot of issues and problems and um within i mean as much as it is possible for them to be involved, I would not want them not to be involved. And 
it's okay for them to be involved. And again, I'm not saying put the responsibility on them or ask them for help. That's not what I'm saying. But I'm just saying that if it happens that you have an argument and the kids are there, as long as it's decent, as long as you're not cussing at each other, as long as um, you're just responsible adults, you can have that argument in front of your kids and even tell them what it is that you're arguing about as much as possible. And just say, you know, mommy and daddy have different opinions. Everybody has different opinions. You and your sister or your brother have issues together. Sometimes you um, have fights, you have arguments, and you don't always agree on something. And so this is what's happening. Mommy and daddy love each other. We, we all love each other. We just have a different opinion on, on a matter, and we're going to fix it, you know? And you go back and forth and you go back and forth and until you get to a, you know, resolution. And when it's done, you can actually, as a family, you can actually celebrate it and say, see, we, you know, came up with a solution. This was a teamwork. You look at it as a teamwork, you know, and it's just so amazing. It's so delicious when you see that result, when you see... Um, the fact that you were able, even though there was an argument, but you were able to come up with a resolution and you did it together as a husband and wife in front of your kids. I mean, what better message are you giving your kids when, you know, you show them, you tell them that you had differences in opinions that, you know, you thought about something and your spouse thought about something else and, um, you went back and forth until you were able to come up with a solution and now you did it. It's amazing. You you just taught your children how to solve problems, how to have arguments and how to get to a solution without any anxiety. And um, even though there may have been a little stress involved, which I'm sure it is. I mean, nobody likes other people not to agree with them we all want things to be done our way but you know what the end result when you come to a resolution you come to a solution together and you fix the problem together it's amazing it's amazing and it gives an amazing message to your children and to your loved ones so i hope that um this helps I am. Uh, I would love to get your opinion. I'm open to different opinions, of course. Tell me what you think. Tell me what has worked for you. Because honestly, any comment that you write, as long as it's decent, it can help someone else. And I really hope that this helped. Have a wonderful day and see you at the kitchen soon.